is 65k with the contract is one year base with a four-year option so as long as they like me and i do what i'm supposed to do that's a five-year contract before i would even have to bid again i bid it for this at the end of july and i was just awarded about two weeks ago to me about two months how did she get a contract for vending when she ain't never done vending you definitely can win keep going keep at it get out of the feeling and just do the thing go con winners i have before us a recent winner i mean we're all winners but i'm talking about contract winner ashley mall with high lux logistics I'm going to talk to us about all of it. Hi, welcome to the channel, Ash. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have you here too. So talk to us. What did you recently win? So I recently won a local contract to do vending services at a state prison. Vending services at a state prison. I have a lot of questions, but before we break it down, how did you get into government contracting? Okay, so... Traditionally, I've been in the mortgage space. So I've been a loan processor for many, many oh. years. And so not during the pandemic, but right after the pandemic, you know, when rates and everything started going, the market kind of went a little. So I was looking for something to pivot to and I decided to pivot to transportation. So not driving things like, but doing what I do, which is I'm good with paperwork, administration, all those things. So that's how I went into doing front of logistics company, doing dispatching, things of that nature, doing the back office type of thing. And then just my desire to follow the money and the trail led me into hmm, who got the bigger checks instead of dealing with the spot market. And that kind of led me to the government contracting space. I watched a few people, one of whom is in the same thing. She calls herself the trucking federal contractor. And I was like, oh, OK, yeah, that's probably the space I really want to navigate and be. That's awesome because it is, you know, whether it's state, local, federal, there's always money. So talk to us about this recent win for vending services at a state prison. I can't say I have much experience going to a state or any prison. I mean, I've had family members incarcerated, but I can't say I've been there. What is this? Like, I can't so even. Yes, and, what and, that, and that's what got it. So I would, of course, not only do I look at Sam, I look at what's in my local area. I'm registered through the state of Georgia. So I, you know wanted to kind of start there as well and I would see different things and opportunities to bid for some of them are for vending service not all of them you know for some of the prisons but a lot of them are and I kind of went for it I'm like okay well let me bid for it and go after it just to get some revenue as I'm still going and bidding on other opportunities things of that nature and I was awarded it honestly a pretty lucrative contract is because in my quest to do my like market research I looked up some other people that were awarded recent contracts and I actually spoke to a guy who's really nice gave me a lot of information his company had provided services for a different prison for the last 20 years. Whoa. Yeah. All so the they're very... Yeah, last 20 years, he's like, they're very lucrative contracts, the way they have their set up and their, their bid that they accept. Because, you know, with vending services, I didn't know much about vending services until acquiring this. But with vending services, say if you do it like you speak to a person at a hotel and you do it, it's always a split. You keep yours and you pay the hotel for having your bidding there and you manage it. Yes, yeah, always a split. So with, with this situation, what we're putting up is we're going to provide the service. But of course, you do quote unquote a split with the with GDC or whatever um, correctional institute you're, you're with. Oh, I got so many questions. I got so many questions. So first off, what are any of these vending machines? Is it chips? Is it pop? Is it water? It is. Yeah, and think about it. When people come to visit their loved ones who are unfortunately incarcerated and stuff like that, I've, you know, unfortunately had to visit someone in prison or whatever before. You know, you come, you get the snack, the snacks, drinks, okay. and sandwiches. So okay. they get pretty busy. So every visitation that that occurs, that's pretty lucrative. Like, and you figure a lot of people may think like an airport is the busiest place to get a contract Ooh. and people want to do that. But honestly, Honestly, a place where you have inmates who don't get to have a certain amount of food or certain types of food and things of that nature. And it is the highlight of their day to go visit their loved ones and go sit and have a drink of Coke and chips and, you know, whatever sandwiches or whatever is available. And if there's something new in there, you know, they love that. And then it goes fairly quick. So that's what the gentleman was telling me when I spoke to him. And I asked about it. So, yeah, it has a much higher yield than like if you were just to have, you know, a lot of people go out to get vending businesses. It has a much higher profit margin than that. 
I have, and probably like those of you watching or listening, I've come across people, uh, especially on Instagram, that talk about set up a vending machine business, mm-hmm. things like that. And they would talk about hotels or maybe a business mm-hmm. or college. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I love this market because there's the constant flow. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming probably the employees use the machine too. Do. There's one where I would do like their drink machines. They're no longer at this prison. They're no longer allowed to bring any liquid was into the facility so i didn't have it so not a commission split at all so it'll be all my profit but I, of course i did it closer for them a little bit more at cost but still a profit margin there but yeah and like i said a lot of these places you go for them you get the contract for x amount of years because not a lot of people know or bid on them or you know what i'm saying and once you get it all set up and you get the vending machines there you're just servicing it and keeping it from there my plan is to get a driver assigned and and work there and get the next opportunity to to go after so, so a couple of things. What was this contract amount for this one? If you're comfortable. Oh yeah, no, fine. Um, so there's no set amount based off their gross sales is 65k. So okay, which is still amazing. Yeah, it is. So how long did it take you to get this? I feel like you got it so fast. <laughs> um, maybe when I officially bid for it, I took five day challenge. I took um actually what's his five day challenge, and I got clarity on how to you know go through some of the paperwork. And I took that in July. I bid it for this at the end of July, and I was just awarded about two weeks ago. So about two months. Okay, so for everyone listening, in two months, Ashley went from, hey, I want to do this thing, to winning a contract for over $60,000 with State of Georgia as she's getting more and more into these other areas. And what's so cool about this is you don't have to worry, like in the sense of anybody going to steal the vending machine? Anybody going to break into the vending machine? I mean, you don't have to. Right. It's already secured and everything. Right. And so with the contract, it's one year base with a four year option. So as long as they like me and I do what I'm supposed to do, that's a five year contract before I would even have to bid again. And all she's going to need to do is make sure she has what they want. The food is not expired. Mm-hmm. You know, all the things that we all want, but we all know doesn't happen with vending machines. I, I hate that. There's a vending machine in my building. And sometimes I'm like, why are you putting this in here? Nobody's trying to get that. Where's all the diet pop? We have <laughs> diet pop. Nobody wants a regular pop. We're trying to watch our calories here in Miami Beach, people. Talk also about this split because I'm new to this whole world of vending machines. So what is that? me so that's what it is it's just the commission split like i said if you were doing it like how you see how people say start a vending machine business or something you'll see it on um you're gonna of course pay them a split well instead of it paying to a split to the hotel or wherever you would have the machine you're gonna monthly i would pay that profit of what comes from the machine to gc Ah, and how they know how much money you should be paying. And that'll be the question as I start, because I officially start, um, I'm supposed to have my machines in there and everything October 1st, but I'm assuming it will be like with anything, you know, you're going to have to set up the system and they may want to look at your payroll track and which I have all that, that will be together. I'm actually doing an inventory management system for that very reason. So just, it's super organized. I didn't get clarification, but it was something that happened with the incumbent because he had the contract for the last three years and they was looking for someone. Honestly, I... I had fake bidded on this before, just like getting my foot out there and I saw the pricing sheet and stuff and I was overwhelmed. And I'm like, oh, I don't know if I could do this. Let me get some information and get it figured out. I went back, took a challenge, got it figured out, felt more confident and then bid it for it again, of course. And I actually won it. Which is amazing because what's key in this space is getting information and then applying it. Because like Ashley's in my Facebook group. She's attended a challenge and like you went with it. You weren't like, oh, well, but but I, I need to learn some more. And, oh, and there's nothing wrong with that. We This is not a sprint, right? It's like a, a super mega um, ultra marathon. So I commend you because you put it into action. I'm getting the vibe that probably the predecessor took some different avenues. So they probably were like, hey, we need to get this situation handled on the vending machine contract. So it's great that you came in with that. I also want to know about this person you spoke with who has 20 plus years in this yeah. vending space. Like, how did you find them? Talk to us about that. Yeah. So just doing my market research, I'm like, oh, I got the contract. OK, perfect. Now I have a couple more questions. You know, I'm like, let me dive a little bit deeper because whenever someone is awarded, you know, it's public knowledge, you can ask. You, if it's sealed, you could ask for the um, the records. But this one was o- open the last few that I looked. So I'm like, I went and I just changed the search for biddings from 
open to award it. And of course I typed in bending and the last contracts that came up that was recently, I called a couple. And like I said, I was following, I got someone on the phone that was, you know, very, and like I said, he was super nice, willing to share so much information and just gave me a good understanding of what to expect and what, and what to do pretty much. I love that. I want to really highlight these because Ashley is speaking about often when you bid on state and local work, it's public, your proposal. So for instance, we bid once with the city of Clearwater and then they emailed us all a zip file containing everybody's proposal, including their pricing. So we have all that information, which I still use to this day. But what was also great is that you went a step further. You look to see who was awarded, which is very similar. You can do this on the government side to see who was awarded a contract. You can reach out to them, whether it's federal or state. And some people, they may not be the friendliest, but all it takes is one. Yeah. There's always that one person who wants to help. And you never know, you could potentially buy his business. If he's been in been in business for 20 years, they may want to sell their business in so, years. Yeah, I was, I was just saying it was a great opportunity, like I said, to get it, get awarded. You know, you need a win so you can keep going. Like I said, I'm primarily in the logistics and transportation space. So once it's set up, I'm just having a driver to go ahead and service it. I'm actually working on a couple other things. I had a company reach out to me, a very established institute, uh, like I said, transportation and logistics. So I'm actually signed an NDA and I'm hoping to hear back that I'll get that. They found my business because I'm properly set up in SAM. I did my dynamic business search, have my capabilities, all the things good and ready to go. So hopefully some something comes of that as I'm going and like I said, acquiring more business and, and just putting myself out there. I love that. And it's the way to, to go. There are probably those who are thinking, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. She was doing loans. Then she gets the logistics. You know, Ashley's well aware of her strengths. She talked about it. admin, paperwork, back office. How does she get a contract? And I know y'all are thinking this, my GovCon winners. How did she get a contract for vending when she ain't never done vending? The logistic. <laughs> you got to look at logistics as a range of things. You could niche down into transportation, which is what I essentially do. But you know, with contracting is something you've also said on your um, videos. You got to make sure you're, what you're putting out there is what they want. So just be a little bit more open. Logistics is a range. It is that. It's just the, the management and the processing of things. So for sure, it's, it's still related. <laughs> it definitely it's just in vending, but it gave me opportunity to get into something them learn and you know i got some got another niche under my belt there it is and then what's great too is since she has this win with the state she can bid on a ton of bureaus of prison why can't you next start selling cheese oh yeah they have so many uh, there's an opportunity for and i didn't get it but I, I what i wanted to do i just requested a debrief earlier so it was for tortilla chips because when you think about it who's going to get the food and all the things that they need to provide to the prisons they they have a central location where they accept it in and i guess they disperse it out to all of their different facilities and who do you think does that us right it's a government contractor and you just follow the same technique you find a source this is no different than even those of you who are in staffing if you're looking for somebody to fill a position or somebody to do training or somebody to fix a floor is no different than finding vending items or tortilla chips or cheese or milk find the source do what's needed you meet the requirements and you win when you get it done like i said I, there's so many people with trucks and stuff and that's typically what i deal with it's not hard for me to find a driver like I said, I do the paperwork, everything, and get it set up, and I'll set a driver on that route, which is business for them because, you know, the spot market is a little crazy. <laughs> Rates are a little crazy, so the government contracts definitely pay better for the most part, so. Which is great. So tell us what is next. Um, like I said, hopefully I hear really great news from that institution that reached out to me for upcoming source of salt and I'm able to move forward there. I have a, I'm going to an upcoming cargo convention in Houston. Ooh. Yeah. To meet with people, you know, shake hands, kiss babies, network, gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see of everything that comes from there. I have no intentions upon stopping. This is something I want to do and I'm just going to, you know, work hard at it and take it to the next level. So you are because you're amazing and you're very resourceful. You're going to get it. You're going to keep winning and winning and winning. And for those who are watching and want to reach out to you, Ashley, how can they best connect with you? They can connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm also on, on Facebook. It's not my, my, my primary. I'm, I'm not typically there except from going online to the, the GovCons but they can also send me a quick email, which is ashley.mall, M-A-U-L-L -L at Gmail.
Excellent. And I encourage you all to reach out. That's what's so beautiful about this space is there's so much work. The gentleman she spoke to wasn't like, I want to talk to you, you competition. You know, like this person had an abundance mindset, which is vital because there's so, just think of prisons. I mean, the little bit I know, there's a lot. So that means there's a lot of vending machines. Mm -hmm. There is enough work. So reach out because you all are next. Anything you want to leave the amazing people with who maybe they feel a little stuck they don't really know if they can actually win you speak to to that person you definitely can win keep, you know keep going keep at it just don't stop you'll look up and then you'll be like oh okay and it'll be it'll be done it'll be over you gotta stop tricking yourself out of out of moving forward whether you feel good bad whatever the feelings are get out of the feeling and just do the thing submit the bid submit the offer. I love that. Definitely get out of the feelings. Submit the bill. Let it go. Awesome. You're going to feel a lot. Just keep moving. Forward. You're going to feel a lot of things. Just keep moving forward. And that's why she won. In two months, she won. So again, I'm so thankful to you. I'm so excited. I am so excited and excited for you. We're going to have many parts with you because you're going to keep winning. So thank you so much for being here. And for all my amazing GovCon winners, don't forget. Hit the notification button, hit the like, share. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, join, check out profitablecontracts.co. And until next time, everything is possible. Take care.